What's going on everybody? So I'm back to the video. Hope everyone's having a great day. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys five Mac applications that I can't live without. So about three weeks ago, I did actually pick up the brand new 14 inch M1 Pro base model. Been absolutely loving it. So I am actually going to be doing like a one month review of that MacBook um, in a couple, I say maybe in a week or two. So stay tuned for that video. But the very first application I want to show you is called Rectangle. Um, very simple application, basically allows you to move and resize windows in Mac OS using keyboard shortcuts. So you can already do this in Mac OS, but in my opinion, it's not that great. Um, there are other better applications such as Rectangle, and also this is completely free. There's no paid option. Um, and basically, if for example, in Mac OS or stock uh, Mac OS, you basically can just highlight over this right here and can tile window to left of screen or right of screen. So if I want to click on left of screen, we can open up a brand new tab or an application. Um, in this case right here, I have no apps open. But for example, if I have a Chrome tab open just like this, I'll go to like coin market cap. And we basically want to move this on the right side of the screen and then move this tab on the left hand screen. Basically with this application, I have it set to command right, just like this. Open up this tab right here, command left, and it's going to be able to split screen just like that very quickly. Um, we can even make it full screen. For example, command up for me, and then there we have it. So um, basically, once you do install this app right here, it's going to also pop up on your um, little status bar right here. So it's this icon. And basically, there's a lot of customizations, and we can go into preferences, and you can actually change the keyboard shortcuts. So uh, for me, my left tab was command left right half was command right, and then my maximize was command up. So these are the three I use the most. There are more in-depth options. So you can even do like first, third. Um, you can even do like top left, top right, bottom left. So if you are, if you do have a bigger display, uh, for example, if you're connecting your like your MacBook Pro to um, an external monitor where you have like an ultra wide screen where you can actually able to use more screens than just like splitting it, then uh, this is the perfect application for you guys to get. Um, it's more efficient than using just going over to the green tab and using this or doing it manually because. Um, like I said, this is a more efficient application. So this one's called a rectangle. So the next app I have for you guys is called iStats Menu 6. So um, it is unfortunately a paid application. It does come with a 14 day free trial. I've used this in the past, but basically um, there's a lot of customization and you can toggle them on using this right here. So I mainly use the GPU and CPU menu, the memory, and the battery slash power. So if we go to the top right here, I basically use like the GPU, CPU, memory. Um, so it allows me to check if my uh, computer is slowing down and basically it'll show me the kind of like the cause of it. Um, this is especially useful for anyone maybe on the older Macs where it is a bit slower now. I haven't had any problems recently with this brand new uh, M1 Pro. And then also I do use the battery right here. So basically this allows me to see like how much time left I have of my battery life on my MacBook Pro. And you can even see a cool little chart right here. Um, one hour, you got 24 hours, seven days and 30 days. So um, I mainly use this for the battery where I can check how much time left I have remaining on my battery life. So if you ever feel that your Mac is running a bit slow, Clean My Mac is the perfect application to get. So. Um, fortunately, um, it is a paid application, like again, there, but there is a free version if you want to test it out first before purchasing it. Highly recommend it. So I love the UI of this application. I mainly just use the uh, smart scan and just run through that, but there are more in-depth options. So it also checks for like malware on your computer, uh, which Macs don't really get too often, but there is obviously potential chances of that happening. So one of my favorite features on this app is the large and old files, because on all my old Mac, when I use this app, I was able to browse through just a bunch of old files that was taking up a ton of space. So um, make sure you guys get this application no matter what, even if you don't think you won't need it, um, but you probably will over time while using your Mac. So the next app is especially useful for anyone who wants to download any sort of media. This one's called Downy. So I can actually paste any sort of YouTube link right here. So I pasted one of my YouTube videos where I can download in full quality. So obviously you can't be using this for any sort of uh, DRM protected content. Um, so right here, we'll click on select and we can able, we're able to download this in the full quality that I currently have it as, as well as you can download audio as well, not just the full video. 
Um, also, there is a cool little feature with this. If you click on Command E, you're able to actually paste any sort of link, YouTube, Instagram, and download any sort of uh, digital images on that. So for example, if you're a content creator and you wanna re-download your thumbnail in full quality, I know you can do that in the video manager tab, but it's not in full quality. Use this feature. So if I paste in this link right here, it, like I said, it's gonna upload any sort of digital images that are on this as well. So we have the full, um, image for my thumbnail right here. So the next app I have is called Image Optum and this is perfect for anyone who wants to reduce file size on their photos without losing any quality. So I use this app all the time when I'm uploading thumbnails onto YouTube where I go over the two megabyte limit. So it's basically a drag and drop and it is gonna reduce the file size um, rather than decreasing the entire quality. So this is the perfect app called Image Optum. It's completely free. So I do actually have a bonus application for you guys. So this one is called Top Notch. So this is obviously for anyone who has the new MacBook uh, Pro, 14 inch and 60 inch. But um, if you hate having that notch, we can actually make it disappear using this free app. Like I said, it's called the Top Notch. So if we go over to my status bar right here and we install the application, we are able just to toggle it on and it's automatically gonna get rid of that notch. Personally for me, I don't really care. I honestly don't even notice the notch while I'm using it, but uh, I know some people were a little iffy on the notch, um, but uh, this is the perfect alternative or application to get if you wanna get rid of that notch. But there you guys have it. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did, drop a like on the video. It helps me out a ton. If you made it far to this video, type in Toronto Raptors in the comment section below. And yeah, guys, that's basically it. I'll see you guys in the next one.